Hello, hope you're doing good. In this tutorial, I'll be showing you how to upload course to Payhip. Payhip is a platform that will allow you to sell courses and other digital products online for completely free. Once you have created your Payhip account, you're going to be redirected to a dashboard just like this. Once on this dashboard, you're going to tap on products from the top navigation bar. After selecting products, you're going to tap on add new product. Once you have done that, you can see that you can sell digital products, courses, membership, and also physical products and coaching service. But we're going to be selecting course for this example. After you have done that, you can add your course name. Then you're going to tap on add course. Now, after tapping on add course, from here, you can see, you can label it. For example, you can see first section. So I'm going to be keeping that label. Then I'm going to tap on add new lesson. And after doing that, you can tap on the pencil icon and you could change that title if you want. Now, now after you have added your first lesson or your first title, as you can see right here, you'll simply tap on the title name. Now, after you have done that, you can scroll down. From here, you can choose the type of course that you would like to add for example if it is a case that you would like to add video you could tap on video and then from here you could add in the video file so you can simply tap on upload file and you could upload the video right there after you have uploaded the video you can choose whether you like to make it downloadable or not and you can scroll down and you can see further lesson settings that you can use so for example if you like to make it a free preview you can do that or if you would like to enable discussions which would be the comment section you can do that and as i was saying earlier if you would like to make the video downloadable you can tap right here to make this video downloadable once you're finished you're going to tap on save changes at the bottom of the page and that's how you would be able to add a video course now let's say for example you don't want to add a video course instead you would like to add text you can do that by tapping on text right here. After you have tapped on text from here, you could type out the text that you would like to add. And then you will tap on save. Another thing that you could also do if we were to go back, you can see that you can also create quizzes. You can also create surveys and you can set assignments. And if it is a case that you would like to embed a course, you can do that by tapping on embed. Or better yet, you can embed a lesson as you can see right there. Now we're going to go back. And by the way, you can add more lessons by tapping on add new lessons right here. And if it is a case that you'd like to add a new section, you can tap on add new section in the top right hand corner. Once you're finished doing that, you can tap on settings from the top navigation bar. After you have tapped on settings from here, you can scroll down. You could upload a cover image for your course. And if you'd like to, for example, turn on automatically subscribe customers to mailing list, you can do that. And you can also select whether this product is a tax exempt or not. And from here, you could add in the author's name and you could also upload an image if you want. And you can tap on course player settings. And from there, you can choose whether you like your course to be in a light theme or dark theme and you can also change the colors and so on once you're finished doing that you're going to tap on pages and from here you'll be able to view your checkout page and you'll be able to edit your thank you and sales page and if we were to tap on pricing you can tap on add pricing plan in the top right hand corner and from here you'll be able to set up your pricing structure so whether it is a one-time purchase a subscription a payment plan or you're simply creating a free course you can choose it right here after doing that you can tap on surfer tickets and from here you could create surfer tickets that persons will receive once they have completed your course and once everything is to your liking you can tap on publish in the top right hand corner and that's it your course will now be live and that's it. Hope you found this tutorial helpful and informative. If you did, be sure to hit the like button and subscribe.